All righty. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yusuf, and welcome back to another Essential Grammar lesson. Uh, if you would like to work at home by yourself, we would recommend you buy the Essential Grammar in Use book. Uh, this will keep you on track with everything that we do if you miss a Zoom. So today we are going to be starting lesson 15. All right, I have done. So let's go ahead and get started. So his shoes are dirty. We can see in the picture that he has brown shoes and they have mud on them. It could be mud. It could be dirt. So his shoes are dirty means that they're dirty right now. Okay. So now we have, he is cleaning his shoes. So he has what seems to be a, um, a little cleaning tool and he is cleaning and shining his shoes. All right. And this means he's cleaning his shoes right now. And now we have, he has cleaned his shoes. All right. So we can see that he's happy. You know, he has shiny shoes. They're very clean. And this means that his she shoes are clean right now. So now we have another example. They are at home. Okay. So we can see there's two people and they're sitting on a couch. One of them is reading a newspaper and one of them is on their phone. You can see there's a little phone right there. So they are at home means they are at home right now. They are going out. You can see that, you know, they're outside of their house now. They're leaving, which means they're leaving right now. And now we have they have gone out, which means they already left. So they are not at home now. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to our uh, groups of words. So we have I have cleaned. We have cleaned, you have cleaned, they have cleaned. And we can also have, I have not cleaned, we have not cleaned, you have not cleaned, and they have not cleaned, okay? So these words right here, like cleaned, finished, started, lost, done, been, gone, those are past principles. And what that means is, for example, I have cleaned means that I cleaned before. Okay, so that means I already did it and um, I'm done with it now. Or I finished means that I finished something. You know, I I did it and it's done. Or I started means that before I had started something already. I had already like began doing something. All right, so now we have he has cleaned. She has cleaned. It has cleaned. Or he has not cleaned, she has not cleaned, or it has not cleaned. Okay, so this is the pretty close to the same thing, except now it's like he, she, it. So we have to use different words. So like has and has not is whenever you're talking about someone else not including you or not a group. Okay, so here in the second group, we have have I cleaned. So do you guys think that this is just a normal statement or a question? You can write it in the chat. Do you think that these are normal statements or questions, the second group? Does anybody know? They're questions. Good. Have I cleaned? How do you know that it's a question? Well, first of all, there's a question mark next to it, right? So have I cleaned means you could be asking somebody, like, have you cleaned? Okay. So we have regular verbs here. All right. So regular verbs end with ED. All right. And then we have irregular verbs like lost, done, been, gone. They don't end with ED. Some of them end with N. Some of them end with E. Some of them end with T. Some of them end with another E. So there's regular, which end with ED and irregular, which do not. So have I cleaned? Have I finished? Have I started? Have I lost? Have I done? Have I been? Or have I gone? Okay. And you can use the same thing with all of these. So now we have, has he cleaned? Has he finished? Has he started? Has he lost? Has he done? Has he been? Has he gone? Okay. Alrighty. So see regular verbs here. It says, the past principle is ED, all right? So they end in ED. And irregular verbs say that the past principle is not ED, 
So for example, clean, I have cleaned. All right. Finish, we have finished. Start, she has started. All right. And for the irregular verbs, buy, I bought or I have bought, have, he had, or he has had. So sometimes the past simple and the past principle are a little bit different. Okay. And sometimes the past simple and the past principle are the same. Okay. So break can either be I broke or I have broken. Okay. Fall can either be it fell or it has fallen. So you wouldn't say it has fell. That wouldn't make sense. And you wouldn't say it fallen. That wouldn't make sense. So it's it fell or it has fallen. See can be you saw or you have seen. And go could be they went or they have gone. Okay. So I've lost my passport. Is that a pa is that is he saying that he lost it in the past? Like he already did lose it or he just lost it now? You can answer in the question in the chat. What do you think? Okay, so he can't find his passport now, but he lost it in the past. Okay, so for the next one, where is Rebecca? She's gone to bed. Okay. So she's gone to bed now, or she is in bed now, but she went to bed in the past. Okay. So now we have, we bought a new car. So is that, did they buy it in the past or did they buy it just now? Past. Good. What if I said, we, we've just bought a new car. Is it in the past or just now? We have just bought. So just means it just happened now. So it would be now. So we have just bought a new car would be we have like we just bought it right now. We bought a car or we bought a new car would be. We bought it before. So now we have, it's Rachel's birthday tomorrow, and I haven't bought her a present. So what does that mean? Does that mean she hasn't bought her a present now, or she hasn't bought her a present before? Past, right? She hasn't bought her a present before. So that means she hasn't done it yet. All right. So. Bob is away on holiday. Okay. And then we have, oh, where has he gone? So where has he gone? What does that mean? Does that mean like, where did he go before or where is he now? Now, where is he now? Right. So now the last one, can I take this newspaper, all right? And then the same person also asked the question, have you finished with it, okay? So what does that mean? Does that mean, have you finished with it now or have you finished with it before? Or like, do you need it now? Now, all right, so it would, be now so like do you need it right now good all right let's move on okay so we can look at the pictures and each picture it shows something before and then something right now okay so first picture he had dirty shoes okay and now his shoes are clean so what did he do or what happened he cleaned his shoes Number two. Uh, what do you what do you think happens at number two? 
You can, she has closed the door. Good. And we use the words that are up here. See, we have word, a word box. So she has closed the door. We can mark that off. Okay. Um, number three. What happened? They have gone to bed. Good. Because you can see in the first picture, they're watching TV. And in the second picture, they're sleeping. So, number four. What happens in number four? It has stopped raining. Good. All right. We can see that first there's a person here with an umbrella and he's walking in the rain. And in the second picture, there's a girl and it's not raining. So she doesn't have an umbrella. So let's um, mark that off. Okay. Five. He has taken a shower. All right. Good. And then the last one, what do you think it is? The picture has fallen down. Good. All right. Uh, let's move on. All righty. So here we have another word box, right? It has break. Buy, decide, finish, forget, go. We have go twice. That means we're going to use it twice in two questions. Invite, lose, see, not see. Um, take, tell, not tell. All right. So number one, we have I blank my keys. I don't know where they are. So we changed it to I've lost my keys. And then I don't know where they are. Okay, so number two, I blank some new shoes. Do you want to see them? What do you think it is? I have bought some new shoes. Good. Or I've bought. Anything works. Okay, number three. Um, where is Helen? She's not here. She blank out. She has gone. All right, good job. She has gone out. So what would we do? We would take away one of the goes. All right, number four. I'm looking for Paula. Blank you, blank her. What do you think it is? Have you seen her? Have. And we can see that, you know, have and seen, they're in the same question, but there's not an actual answer. So we're just going to mark off C. So have you seen her. Okay, good. Okay, look, somebody blank that window. Somebody has broken. Good. Has broken. Okay. And this is this is H A. This is it's I'm sorry, it's really hard to write. I just want to Make sure it's there. Okay. Has broken that window. Um, now we have number six. Does Lisa know that you're going away? Yes, I blank her. You could say it two different ways. Okay. So you can either say have told her. Okay. Which is what we're going to write down. Have told. 
Or if you're just speaking quickly, you don't have to say have told. You can just say, yes, I told her. All right. But it doesn't matter how you do it. So number seven, I can't find my umbrella. Somebody blank it. What do you think it is? So it can either be two things again, okay? It can either be somebody has taken or somebody took it, all right? So for this one, we're just going to write the shorter version. So somebody took it. All right, there we go. So now I have, where are my glasses? I don't know. I blank them. So would this one be? I haven't seen them. Okay. Um, this one would be I haven't seen them because she, the person is asking someone else and they're saying that they did not see it. Okay. So I have. not seen them. Okay, good. All right. So now we have, I'm looking for Sarah. Where blank she blank? Where has she gone? All right, good. Now we have 10. I know that woman, but I blank her name. I have forgotten her name. Good. All right. Let's write it. Have forgotten. And for this one, you don't even have to... Um, write it as forgotten you can just say i forgot her name okay so um 11 sue is having a party tonight she blank a lot of people what's that one she has invited all right good she has in by said all right um now we have 12 what are you going to do blank you blank what do you think it is oh i forgot to line this one Have you decided? Good. Have you decided? All right. Does Ben know about the meeting tomorrow? I don't think so. I blank him. What's that one? Have not told. Have not told. Okay. And then the last one. I blank with this magazine. Do you want it? I. It can be I've. It could be I've or I have. I have. Finished. All right. Good. All righty. Okay. So that is all we have for today. So uh, I appreciate all of you coming and I appreciate all of your input. Uh, make sure to remember to turn in any previous homeworks that uh, you have not turned in yet.
and all of them will be posted in the video description. Again, I thank you and I'll see you all later.